Worry not. I am here. Taste my hammer! <laughs> Worry not. I am here. <laughs> and oh, my. A woman's weep resounds through the forest, broken and wailing amidst that weep. You faintly make out a familiar name. My child, Handel. Finally track down the source of the weeping, only to be met by a sylvan fury. For some reason, the sylvan fury... Andal, my wooden flute. The reason for the sense of familiarity you feel you've met before. Most recently, 
You came across... Handle. <sighs> Wooden flute. The Sylvan Fury in front of you doesn't seem to understand you. She seems to be looking for... You remember that the human child who survived the altar of Germany... Blue, my, no, his, oh, no! A strange statue blocks the path to Sithyralin. Cast ruling plant to pass. Traveler, you aren't supposed to be here. Please leave. Didn't you hear? This is no place. What? You know the Athalian Wood Elves? You need not to know this, Travel. The forest is a shadow of its former self. The Wood Elves in the Swaddling Forest. I'll repeat myself. You aren't supposed to be. The Sithaerlin Wood Elf Guard takes a tough stance. Maybe there's a way to grab her attention. Hold on. You've been to one of the altars? You actually purified the altar of germination. Perhaps Lady Athalia. I will inform Lady Athalia. You stay here and don't. of the forest blooms a peculiar flower. Unlike any plant in the vicinity, this flower is devoid. As expected, resurrecting the gem-like flower is but a fantasy. Do you still remember me? Back in Athalian, you once bestowed your... You recall now, you and this young... See? I told you so. Those cowards did re Are you here to look for them? Then you've come to the wrong place, because Cytherilin will never take those cowards in. From the gem-like flower comes the flower spirit of love. After the corruption of the altar of the flowering, <laughs> their efforts have been in vain for the past centuries. 
just like I know a spineless and unfaithful wood elf who abandoned his love earth and it was a grand ceremony which couldn't be revoked. So his escape meant that his- I despise cowards. If I see that wood elf again, I won't hesitate to kill- Yes, I know. The if the opportunity comes, I will kill that elf who brought shame to my family. Are you done with your questions? I'm here to inform you that Lady Athalia has agreed to see you. Go to the village hall. However, I must remind you that Lady Athalia... May the blue oak be evergreen, and bless our souls. Are you the one? The special traveler? You mean Athalian's outcast mongrels? They betrayed the blue oak. Their punishment has thus been meted out. It's only right for the mongrels to spend the remainder of their days. Mind yourself, traveler. I'm not obliged to- Traveler, Athalian's ordeal has nothing to do with Sitherlin. Listen to the survivors over yonder. It was- You've said too much. Apologies, esteemed High Priestess. This traveler purified the altar of germination. Perhaps they- Purified? The altar of- Is that the truth, traveler? I will most certainly send my people to check it out. Don't three altars. There are three altars that have been Should you succeed, I shall certainly be convinced of your- How does that sound? However, you had better understand that- Emeril, son of Avelios, leader of a thing. Regrettably, the outcast mongrel's alpha remains exactly that. An outcast mongrel. He shouldn't step foot in the swaddling forest if he still has the slight- Traveler, Emeril was attacked by Sylvan Furies. He collapsed and the Mistress Yathalia had someone settle him into a nearby storeroom. You've said too much. You need not know this, Traveler. Yathalia's tone is frosty. She doesn't seem willing to answer you. As such, why not make your suspicions known? For the briefest of moments, Yathalia's blank expression slackens, as if a crack splitting the surface of a glacier. Well, Traveler, you certainly did surprise me. Listen well, I shall say this only once. Three hundred years ago, Nithorus, father of the woods, was by adhering to Father Nithorus's divine guidance, we could commence the rite of return, restoring the blue oak core of power. Yet that ritual was sabotaged by my mentor, the then High Priest of Elios. No, not my mentor. It was the green dragon, despicable green dragon, bewitched my mentor, compelling him to sabotage. That ritual was supposed to reunite us under the gray. The wayward souls were unable to return to Blue Oak Core, corrupting in the for precisely this reason. We must restore the right of return. Question time is over. Remember, to restart the right of return, you must use the power. Now, it's your turn to tell me your answer. Looks like you trust that traitor more than you trust me. I dropped Imral off at the storeroom on my way to the Altar of the Flowering. If you wish to meet with him, you should hurry over. You'll miss him if you leave it too late. Traveler, you shouldn't bother wasting any more time. Hold on. Take this map. Don't get me wrong. You're just not allowed to die in the forest before I defeat you.
Traveler, it's the others. Hey, you should not speak at present. It will cause your wound to split open and get worse. Father, I'm sorry for Blue Oak. Emerald's voice slowly becomes weaker until... The High Priestess, Yithalia, has ordered us to bring Emeriel here. Judging from the wounds, he was probably injured. It's hard to heal wounds caused by Sylvian Furies. And his wound- We Wood Elves have a spring of the Eternal- It's just that, after the Altar of the Flowering was corrupted, the spring dried up. There is that possibility. But we have tried time and again. Thank you so much, Traveler. En route to the Altar of the Flowering, there sits a relic. The Spring of the Eternal Return, according to the wood. The spring water seems to have run dry for long. As you venture deeper into the forest, the second altar, the Altar of the Flowering, comes into view. Brushing away the snaking love born of shared hearts found in the first bloom, our Father of the Woods grants Brushing away the snaking vines, the ins love tested enduring found in Amaranth, our father of the wood. The altar of the flowering. They once came here. I witnessed wishes, lots of them. Lovers betrothed, first bloom proves thine empathy together in union. For this testimony of love, the first bloom of empathy shall be picked by the bride. On the pan resilient amaranth shall be picked by the groom on the path of perpetual return. Traveler, are you here to reach the path of perpetual return? Uh, no, well... Um, what I mean is, yes, the path of perpetual return is dangerous. Who would have thought this was once hallowed ground? I'm sorry, the fog is clouding my mind a tad. If you want to enter the path of perpetual return, I think we should pair up. That's right, uh, pair up. <laughs> no, it's nothing to be alive. Eowyn, my beautiful beloved, she vanished into the path of perpetual return. It's terribly dangerous. It truly is appreciated. There's no need to fret. I'll give you no trouble.
A wood elf girl's cry. Someone needs help. Oh, not a sylvan feet. I heard footsteps just now. I thought it was as odd. Why would there be so many sylvan furies in the- What? I- I can't believe- Oh dear. I didn't even realize- Well, I heard that centuries ago, at a time before my birth- On the eve of the wedding, the groom fled and left behind his bride, who died of a broken heart. She turned into a sylvan fury. From then on, the path of perpetual- As the young female wood elf narrates this strange tale, you feel a sense of familiarity. That's not weird at all. Every wood elf who for far too long, wood elf couples who as time passed by, it has become off limits. <sighs> of all the that. Don't be afraid. I'm carrying an amulet. You can take it. It'll she even shows you an amulet. Although weathered by a- I once heard of an amulet blessed by the blue oak, able to keep sylvan furies at bay. It must be. Don't worry. I'll come to you later. Please do remember to come. No. The green dragon robbed the blue orc corpse. The amulet's power comes from a seed of the olden times. But because there is no need anymore. Yes, I can sense it. My lover is... I couldn't be wrong. Her voice... I am here. Taste my hammer! <laughs> Bestow your weapons upon me. Flower, my love. The Sylvan Fury guarding the flower seed casts a spell. An unknown force coils around Shievan's limbs, as if to tear him apart. No, no, leave me be. Black mists steadily swallow Shievan, 
his life hanging by a thread, he pleads with you not to save him. Sorry, my... Eowyn. My love. She even all but vanishes from sight. You hear a contented sigh, drifting away on the wind. You... fool! Hatred. Darvan, you fool. Gem-like flower seed tumbles into your palm, like a sweetheart's tears. The flower. Gem-like flower seed drops.
shall spare no effort. Our mighty dragon queen shall smite thee. Prepare to charge! Let's get to it! Her weeping vanished. A weeping wood elf. She's grieving for the bridegroom. She is weeping. Thank you for bringing her peace. Sylvan Fury. They do. I heard many voices in the endless darkness. The anguish branded deep in the wood elf's soul. traveler. Did you already find the flower seeds? Kindly place the flower seeds here. I... This shouldn't be a place for wedding ceremonies. Any blessing here is fated to be stained with blood. Blood's curse pouring over darkened soul. We amidst the d Traveler. Thank you for everything. Helpless soul has yet freedom found. Alas, the temp- Fear not. This time the spring has begun to flow. I shall... Go fight-
Um... The scorching pain has dissipated. Thank you, Traveler. My gratitude is beyond words. I know you must be confused about a lot of things. Feel free to ask me anything. I will tell- A sudden disaster hit us not long after you left. A sudden change occurred in the forest. The poisonous mist dispersed somewhat. And it... However, I felt very uneasy. As there was something just in a moment. A large pack of sylvan furies emerged from the forest. I tried to call out to everyone to escape, but... Indeed. Traveler, after you left Athelian, did you notice any changes elsewhere? You tell Emeril about your search for Andel. Andel, thank you for finding out Andel's end on our behalf. Euthalia won't forgive Athalian's wood elf so easily. However, as long as they're in Sith Ireland, they'll at least be safe. Perhaps the Yathali in my memory has never been a truly ruthless one. You did purify the altar? Wondrous! This... This is just unimaginable. Could the purified altars be the reason why the Wood Elves are restless? But... The altars were originally sites for blessings and cycles. How is it related to the Sylvan Furies? Did that ritual... Uh. What's going on? Is that an earthquake? A loud rumbling sound can be heard in the cabin. As if a giant is stomping across the land. Exactly the same as the attack on Athalian. After the altar germination, comes the altar of the flowering. Oh no. Sylph Aralan is in danger! There are too many of them! Stay calm. They cannot be allowed to set foot. Sylvan Furies go deranged! They attacked the village suddenly without any signs. Traveler! Show me your power. Ludicrous. So Who dares face me?
Lady Athalia, the Sylvan Furies have been driven back. I will return to Sitherland to check the situation. Good. <sighs> yes, Lady Athalia. May the blue oak be evergreen and bless our souls. Please don't regard us wood elves as a frail race. But I thank you for your help, traveler. Eulor has reported your deeds to me. I have to admit, that's something we've tried and failed to do. Three altars stand in Nytheria. And wood elves emerge from- We built these altars to pay tribute to- Only by activating every altar and resuming the right of return. Traveler. Ysalia. Oh, you're here, son of Avelios. I... Don't you bring up my father's name, Jathalie! You may have saved me, but I won't thank you. Neither will I forget about all the things you did to my father. <laughs> Your gratitude is not even worthy of mentioning, Traveler. Purify the altar of the Withering. This is my last request. Then the Wood Elf shall return to the Grand Cycle, and Nytheria shall rise again. Once you have purified that altar, I have important matters to attend to. Traveler. Thank you, for I don't trust Yathalia, but the altars are indeed important to the Wood Elves, and only by purifying- You're the only one capable of purifying the- I ought to accompany you in the purification of the Altar of the Withering, but there are so. I'll have to bid you farewell here. Yathalia declared that it was the Green Dragon's use of the Blue Oak Core that created Sylvan Furies. The Green Dragon prompted the Sylvan Furies to take revenge on Wood Elves. Is that really the truth? If the Green Dragon isn't controlling the Sylvan Furies, could it be that the awakened Sylvan Furies are trying to return home? Traveler, you surely have. Well, these are merely my own speculations. No, it's not like that, Traveler. These three altars are the resting places of Wood Elf souls. If it wasn't for you, your doings are righteous regardless. Set your confusion aside and proceed. I should be the one to be grateful. By the way, Traveler, I have something for you. That's right. 300 years ago, on the night before the right, a crack in our relationship could already be seen back then. Yet, I kept this key all this time. But I did- I feel the time to unravel the mystery has come. 300 years ago, I refused to recognize the price of the right to return. And thus a bad at that time, I couldn't find hope. But now, I have found it from you. Farewell, traveler. Wooden sign. Field of burrows ahead. Beware of... Wooden sign. Fe
I am here.
<laughs> Try to hurt me! So my minion! Uh -huh.
Hey, buddy. You coming to Sunrise Camp? Huh? Don't you know Sunrise Camp? A band of adventurers all dressed like you are in there. Dragonbone in the Snow Mountain. Treasure and Lake Check. Come on now, you've never heard of any of these. Then what are you doing here? Don't tell me you're gonna spit on the Wood Elf's graveyard. Altar of the Withering? You mean the altar? Oh, strange. I've never seen anyone heading there except you're really going to the Altar of the Withering. <laughs> Don't blame me for not reminding you. Too many Wood Elf bodies are buried there. What a jinx. Fella took the wrong way some days ago and finally ended up with only one arm. <laughs> Very well. Traveler, here you are. This is the Cemetery of No Return. Through here is where the children of the forest reside. Looks like you already know a lot. Yes, our kinsfolk, including myself, are all here gazing. It is where the resting place is. The end of the cycle. But now, they can only gaze from here. Wandering in endless... But I feel it. There is still another soul. Find that soul for me, Traveler. Find his name. For him, free him from his obsession and call him back to us. Oira de Tavaril. Remember, it will bring peace to the suffering soul. You fail to understand that, but it has been imprinted on your mind. Oira de Tavaril. It constantly echoes in your head in Lauren Thiel's voice. Here. 
Your well-earned rewards. An aged wood elf lying in the snow seems to be out of his last breath. I'm ready for all the ritual. No, not again. Don't leave me. The ritual. I'm ready. I... I really regret that I couldn't. No, not again. I... Who am? I... I'm ready. For the... Not... The Elder keeps repeating delirious words. Find that soul for me. Help him retrieve his name and ask him to let go of his obsession. You recall what Lauren Thiel said. Perhaps the Elder in front of you is the lost soul that Lauren Thiel mentioned. Search this cemetery to find the Elder's identity. Tombstone of a wood elf with a shiny box on it. Some inscriptions are engraved on the tombstone. Here rests Laurentheal. May the blue oak be evergreen and shelter our souls. I will hold you tightly with these arms again until we reach the. My lord, too, have drawn this land. Here, your well-earned rewards. I will protect it all. Lovely. 
Lovely. The tombstone of a wood elf with a shiny box on it. Some inscriptions are engraved on the tombstone. Here rests Awen the flower. I will spend the rest of my life in the bitterness of cowardice. As a reminder. My lord too hath drawn this land. My heart! <laughs> 
<laughs> I never give up! Here, your well earned rewards. The tombstone of a wood elf with a shine here rests the sinner of the wood elves. Here rests someone who dedicated his life to the wood elf. There is a letter by the tombstone. Old friend Evelios. I have chosen a place next to you, and I guess I will join you soon. When the sand runs out, come see me and tell me why. During the ritual, why did you? A dear friend who hates you, Vikak. A wood elf tombstone that looks newer than any other tombstone. With no shiny box, but only a name. Vikak. My lord too hath trod this land. Here, your well-earned rewards. I am ready for not... The elder in the cemetery is still trapped due to his obsession. Call the elders... Ivelios. I... My old friend. Where are you? The elder does not seem to be Ivelios. But an old friend of his. The cook. It, it's me. I. Crystal clear tears fall from Vikok's clouded eyes. As if a dust covered box pried open, the radiance of spirituality casts light on its gloomy corners. Thank you, traveler. It's all coming back to me. My name is Vikuk. Three hundred years ago, I was the trusted advisor of my old friend, Vilios. We tried everything. We tried to wake up Nithris, and thus bring the Wood Elves back to the Grand Cycle. However, the ritual failed. The gravestones in this cemetery became even more. You know about the Rite of Return? So, you've met Yathalia. That's right. Three hundred years ago, Nithorus guided us in activating the Rite of Return. 
rebuilding the blue oak core so as to return that ritual. However, and since Yathalia told you about the right of return, she probably... I see. So, that's what she said. All this time she's been looking up to Aphelios. This may not be entirely a lie, but just an excuse that Yathalia used to- My old friend Aphelios. He wasn't enchanted by the Green Dragon. He spoiled- I know. Because... At that moment, back then... What was on your mind? The truth. Lauren the Hill of Germination. Eowyn and the Withering. It Why didn't you let me... Not... Not again. The sand. It ran. Come. Tell me. The radiance of spirituality passes in a flash, and Vikok is drifting out of consciousness again. Sand. Sand. Vikok's voice is becoming weaker and weaker. You know, Oira de Tavaril. It is the prayer that Laurentheal taught you to bring peace to a suffering soul, Oira de Tavaril. As you chant, tears drop from the eyes of the Elder, slipping into his gray sideburns. His clenched palm slowly loosens. In his palm rests a key resembling a withered branch. Traveler, you have arrived at the final altar. Yes, one key is missing. He has been wandering in the darkness. Find him, and... On the stone tablet are two lines. The withered branches of the oak are the... I have come to go. On the stone tablet, the withered branches of the there is no light without darkness. 
On the stone tap, the withered branches, the light is fleeting, but may it shine bright. Noisy children, leave this place immediately. The grand cycle is about to restart. The Sylvan Fury stands before the stone tablet, speechless and still as a statue. Around its neck... Don't touch my key! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Guardianship needs... It's because Ivelios the Archpriest never really died. He's just stuck here, all because of a pathetic and horrible accident. Traveler, you purify the altar of the with. hurt an innocent. My apologies, Traveler. Could you tell me what brings you here? I've been stuck in darkness for so long that time has abandoned me. So, as the Grand Cycle. Yathalia. She's right. The You've purified them and awakened me. As a show of gratitude, I'm willing to clarify any doubts you have. I was once High Priest of the Wood Elves. But now... I merely... In the past, I obeyed the voice of Nithorus and led my kinsfolk to perform a ritual at the Three Alts, but a greater calamity was incurred. The corruption. That ritual is called the Rite of Return. But the origins of back then, the Green Dragon, Nithorus, spent all his power to seal the Green Dragon. The Three Altars were meant to channel the Wood Elf's soul for a thousand years after. We had exhausted all methods to bring the Grand Cycle, but Nithorus told us that to restart the cycle, we have The Rite of Return is a ritual that took place 300 years ago that resulted in the creation. You have heard the Wood Elves mention this ritual time and again. Piecing together your previous experiences, you have some speculations about the truth behind the Rite of Return.
failure. That may have been what Yathalia told you. The Rite of Return is an evil ritual. The voice I heard was not Nythurus's, but however, neither Yathalia nor I were aware of this trickery. We believed, thus, we sacrificed the lives of our kinsfolk. My old friend Vikuk spent a long time persuading me to let him take my place as the sacrifice for the Altar of the Withering. However, just as the sacrifice was about to be completed, the cunning and wicked laughter of a dragon, the green dragon was mocking us, our stupidity, and everything that had happened, which he had already predicted. It couldn't contain its mirth. That was a tragic wedding. Eowyn's original groom escaped before the ritual began. But we refused to give up on the ritual, so Asher took his place instead. I deeply regret that my mentee Awen had to endure such pain. Neither she nor Asher should have died. Lauren Theo. Yathalia sacrificed her own. He was the most talented child among the Wood Elves. On the he told me, the for the forest was crying. Apart from him, no one else could hear it. Perhaps that child... Yes. I finally realized that everything was a part of the Green Dragon scheme. I used my final ounce trapped in the darkness, the souls which were unable to return to the ground in the years that followed. Nytheria was plunged into dark... Watching my student, my son, my dear friends, my... You must break the cycle of tragedy. Travel. The rite of return requires only one last sacrifice. The most powerful warrior of the Wood Elves, Yathalia. She isn't the type who could learn how to give up. She's willing to pay any price in order, Traveler. You must stop, Yathalia. You must stop all of this. Thanks for your help, Traveler. I remember. All three altars have been pu- Once the green dragon breaches the path to the blue oak has appeared. The closer you get to the Blue Oak, the more familiar the scenery on each side becomes. In the recesses of your memory, it seems as though you've seen it before. Seen it flourishing. Yes, but it's not been completed yet. Traveler, can you see the phantoms encircling you? Those are the memories that have imprisoned Yathalia. The green dragon used those phantoms to trap Yathalia. My lord too hath drawn this land. What are you still waiting for? Hurry! Come find me! Mama!
is my heart! Fly for me! Show my minion! I never give up! Shall return. My minion. I see as my heart. Fly for me. <laughs> I never give up. My heart! I see that you're the one who interrupted the ritual. I will spare your life, since you were the one who purified the altars. Leave. Now, traveler. You call this a sacrifice. Take a look at the wood elves of Nytheria. Look into their eyes. I'm willing to do anything to revive their hopes. That is the price that must be paid for the right of return. Sacrifice. Murder. Our souls will return to the Grand Cycle. And the swan- Death. <laughs> It must sound t I'll tell you why. That most critical of final steps. Offering my life to the Blue Oak. I have already waited 300 years. Don't stop our sacrifice, traveler. Don't stop me! Oh, my 
Enough, traveler. I can't allow you to disrupt the sacred ritual again. The forest is blighted. The grand cycle has halted. If this continues, all I killed my own child. Kissing his gradually freezing face. I killed my teacher, hearing his painful groan. To come so far and stop now? All our sacrifices, our devotion. They were all you wish to stop me. Then just kill me. Yes, Dahlia. Laurentheo, why are you here, my child? Hold on. You aren't... I... My child, you indeed came into contact with my aura before. When you were little, I heard your sincere and beautiful prayers. Although I could not respond, I have always bestowed blessings upon the kinfolk you love. Is that you? Neither us? Our guardian, our beloved, our lifeblood. Will you readily heed our cries and tears anew? The wrong method only creates more mistakes. The Blue Oak Core won't be rebuilt through those cruel offerings. The blood of the innocent seeped into the roots, spreading corruption across the forest. This blood-soaked ritual was a lie from the very beginning. Green dragons... No. No, that's impossible. My child, recognizing your own mistakes is the hardest thing you can do. Fools. Do you think... It... You are still as naive as you were... Zemaragdus. Come, join me in my dwelling. I shall crush all your hopes as easily as crushing a pitiful ant. The new god who shall rule over Netheria, poised to ascend the throne, I am Simaragdis, the Emerald Breath. It seems Simaragdis can no longer retain its wild ambition. Follow me, please, traveler. The passage into the green dragon, I hear it. The roar of the cunning evil dragon. I'm not exactly Nithorus, because I'm not wholly him. In so many legends, Slaying the dragon is in vain. But for you, slaying the dragon is... A familiar feeling envelops you, but it is fleeting, like a tiny pet. Three hundred years ago, now, perhaps everything... Go, traveler.
hurt me! Ha ha ha! 
Emanating from the blue oak core, you feel yourself being lifted upwards slowly. Traveler, you're here. Traveler, thank you for bringing my battered soul can only guide you in this boy's body. Now, it's time for me to return to hibernation. I exhausted all my strength to seal Zemaragdis the green dragon within the swaddling forest. Both the dragon... Everything and everyone has their own destiny. The reason for your coming to Nytheria. This question has been asked of you before. By the green dragon and emerald a long time ago. No. What you speak of are the purposes that others have imposed on you. What I'm asking is, what are you searching for? Whom do you wish to defeat? How long more do you keep this question in your heart? Traveler, do you believe in destiny? When the wilted leaf, if you are amused by what fate does to your life, 
It's when you can find the fun in everything that since words tend to conceal their true meaning. Farewell, traveler. The forest will repay you by recovering that which you seek. With Nythris's soul returned to the Blue Oak core, the Blue Oak, once the stench of rot subsides, at the very reason you originally arrived in Nytheria. in the evil dragon lurking nearby. Ignorant! You do give it a triumph, don't you? All proceed in accordance with his design. The child of chaos, our pathfinder. As expected, you've returned to this place, Chosen One. It appears that this place keeps drawing you back, doesn't it? I am honored to meet you again. Do you still remember me? Uh, it's beyond words how honored I am that someone has- Indeed, I am a faithful servant of the Dragon now. Let's discuss the deal between you and the Mother of Dragons. I am aware that you have just completed the first step of this mission. <laughs> this is all thanks to you, too. During the battle in the Chaos Universum, the Dragon Queen witnessed my efforts against the U- Here I stand today in my new role, performing my duties as the Watcher and the Harbinger. Ah. I understand that you don't ever sense the child of Kate. There comes a time when the Inquietum reaches its peak, whereupon the Chaos Clepsydra inverts. When that time comes, chaotic turbulence will cause the Meridian Timot to strike the material plane. Meridian Timot will- I have summoned you here in accord with my duties as the Harbinger. The fragments of the Child of Chaos must, lest all will be lost. Of course, the Mother of Dragons deemed you as the Chosen. All right, it's getting late, and it's time for you to embark on your journey once again. During... 